Hey Divas, Mahogany731 coming to you today with another video. Now I'm going to start out by telling you that this is a Tara 27 human, Remy Human Hair Wig. She's on the mannequin. I have done a video wearing her. But this is the wig cap that I'm going to wear. Y'all know I have that wig band. And... I thought it was on the bathroom door, but it's not. Uh, apparently, I need to be wearing the wig band. What I'm going to tell you all about the wig band. The wig band keep these right here protected. Along with your own personal juicy ingredients that you choose to moisturize your hair with. Unfortunately, I'm not getting my fat ass up to go find the wig band. No, I'm not. And I wanted to share with you all that. When I was wearing multiple wigs throughout last year into this year my edges was gone and as you can see because of the wig band i have a little pussy fudge little peach fuzz yeah and they're coming back um i just say fuck it because i wear wigs morning noon and night so i'm going to put on my my wig cap with not my wig band yes i'm not going to do it the correct way And I'm going to do a demonstration on a wig that I previously wore before. But um, I got a shout out to do this wig. And let me show it to you on the mannequin. This is a wig that I vamped on my own. She did not come like this whatsoever. She did not come like this whatsoever. I had to go through this baby and, 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 and vamp to the fullest. Yeah, I did apply a little bit of oil. And I had to chop. I had to chop, 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 chop. So I'm going to put the, the... It's a wig, 27 Tara, I believe. And she has... No cones, but... Oh, Sensational Bump. My mistake. Sensational Bump wig, the 27 Tara. I do apologize, and they have the red highlights in the front. And it has adjustable tabs in the back with that one metal cone. As you know, I always adjust mine to the last hole because I have a small head. And they also lay flat when you do it that way. So I'm going to apply the Sensational Bump wig, 27 Tara, with the color red in the front on. After I vamped her, she's vamped. When I say she's vamped, she's vamped. Don't wear the wig straight out the pack. She's going to look set the fuck up. Okay. Now, I'm using the back in the days 99 cent Diana comb off of samsbeauty.com. 99 cent. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to rake a design. The reason why I take and I put mine into the last hole, as you can see, it clings to your head just like your hair. And I'm just going to rake I'm just going to rake this hair. And I actually, I'm going to take a brush tour because I want these to be down. I want my little ear tab paws to be down. And then from there, I'm going to take this Diana comb, my 99 cent Diana comb, and just give it a little style in the front. Not nothing big. This is basically one of the most simplest wigs to wear. And what I like about it is actually giving you the front lace look in the front. Look at there. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to show you the tool that I use to cut this wig also. One little OP part sticking up. A little stubborn here. Just brush it down and keep it moving. But this is just a basic, simple wig. Especially for the kind of work that I do. This wig is perfect to wear. And I like how it lay on your neck. Okay, I'm finished. She's good to go. I'm ready to hit them all with the cold work and, and keep it moving. But let me show you the two that I used to get this look. It was not a pair of scissors. It was... I forgot what they are called, but let me find her. I should have been a little bit more prepared. And I got my hand on one, and I have another one that I want to share with you all. Okay. Okay, I can't find. Okay, yes, I can. Okay. 
I'm about to show you all the tools that I use. Okay, because I'm not a person that can actually, actually, quote unquote, cut hair like a stylist does, what I do with my wigs, when I purchase my wigs, I keep tons of these. I keep them. You see, they have the comb safety. Comb along the edges. Comb along the edges, and the razor is actually in the middle. And you actually can buy razors and refill them when they get dull. Yeah, so what I do, I keep these. This one here is refillable also. You can snap the razor in, or out, in and out. And the reason why I use these, I use it for the sides and the back, the short part of the wig. They would give you that layer effect to any wig. Any wig, it would give you that layer effect. You have the big cone, you have the little cone. Use your own discrepancy. With me, I use both. I use the big edges here along the top. And just comb the wig how you want it, straight out the pack. And just go through it. Go through it. Brush, go through it. And then when you get to here, on down, use this end. Because it's like it's tapering the wig as it's going down. When you get to the nape and the ear, you know how they have too much hair right here? This be super thick. Go through it with this. All the way from here, here, down. Use this tool here. All the way down. And you'll get that tapered look. As you can see, I have hair here, another length here, and a super short length here around by the ear and the neck. Because this wig, I must say, because the mommy wig, she sets up in the back. This one clings to your neck. That's the one good thing I like about the Sensational Bunt wig. That's one good thing I absolutely like about the Sensational Bunt wig. But these are the three tools that are used in basic or sheen. I use little teeny um, scissors. They stay silver from the dollar store. And I just get that sharp effect around the ear. That's all I do. I just cut this part by the ear with the little teeny scissors along with three, these two. I buy two because sometimes they have a tendency of sometimes they get dull on you. And when you're in the midst of ramping your wig, you don't want to have to stop and reload. So I use two at a time and I use one. All three are refillable. And they take the basic razors that your stylist may use. And let me find one for you. I buy mine's in, well, you don't have to buy the most expensive one. But I buy the Persona ones. The Persona give you, there's so much light in my bathroom. The Persona give you such a sharp cut and it cut right away. These cut right away. These fit in here. And it's going to take two. If you choose not to use the persona, you could use the basic ones. This is the basic size. This one take one. This one take two of these. So either way you choose to go, you know, you want to be able to vamp your wig with these tools right here. You don't even have to use persona razors. I choose to use personas because they have a tendency of cutting good and lasting for at least a couple of months. Versus the no-name brand. That's just my preference. But, um, you know, use your own discrepancy. And as y'all know, the 99 cent Diana comb, I took it way back. Way, 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 way back. And I bought the bigger one also. They at Sam's Beauty, 99 cent. And that's going to do it for the Sensational Bump Wig 27 Pieces. My highlights are red. It's a human hair wig and it's Remy. And when I tell y'all this hair is so freaking soft. The hair is soft. So that's going to do it for today. And you all have a safe holiday. Bye-bye.